At Kirby 64, it has a vast amount of abilities being 7. Unless you combine them to make 35, which I ranked by the way, being the most amount of abilities in the series. So, obviously, the only thing to do now is to add another one, right? Well, see, Dreamland 3 has 8 abilities, two of which not making it to 64, being Parasol and Cleaning. For the sake of this video, we'll say that bomb rightfully replaced Cleaning, which means they just cut Parasol. So, I want to bring it back. What's up y'all, Ranger here, and holy crap, how did this get so many views? <clears throat> Sorry. In that video, I said that this one would be out in a couple weeks after it, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, as you know, the Pink Plus is adding an ability. Said ability being, well, Parasol. This will be a pretty conceptual video, but it will have visuals, of course. And hey, since I might seem uncreative to some of you, we're gonna do some viewer participation! In the comments of this video, come up with some ideas for these, or send it on my Discord server, link in the description, so that you can gloat about how more creative you are than me. So, what are we looking at here? Nine total abilities. One single, one double, and seven for the mixtures of the other abilities. Let's waste no more time and get right into it. So obviously, since these abilities don't actually exist in the game, we're going to need to visualize it. I'm going with a style that is simple and easy to understand. Thank you to my Discord server for voting on this style specifically. You guys help a ton, you have no idea. Anyway, with that being said, let's start with the ability itself. Parasol will have similarities and differences to Dreamland 3. To start, you'll press once to attack and put it in your hand, which you can press again to attack again, and hold it to hold it out. When it's held out, you are able to turn around. When you fall in the air, you'll float down slowly, and you can press down to fall normally again. If you hold down while on the ground, you'll use it as a shield, like in Dreamland 3. Which would be a good time to mention that the parasol itself has a normal hitbox, like, um, Sparks, for example, where it kills enemies, damages bosses and many bosses, as well as destroys projectiles. Now, what if you want to rid of the parasol but not the ability? Simply hold up and press B to toss it in the air like an enemy. Of course, if you just want to lift the star out instead, you're more than able to do that. But this is in case you want to remove the parasol without removing the ability itself. Alright, without any transition, I want to move right on to Double Parasol. Now, there are two types of double abilities in the game. There are the ones that follow the same theme, but do something special, such as Bomb and Ice. And there are ones that do the ability just bigger, like Stone, Cutter, Spark, Needle, and Fire. Now, obviously with a balance like this, I got creative- Yeah, no, I just made it big. Now, this is going to be kind of a demake of the Chumbrella from Kirby Star Allies, and it will come with its limitations as well as advantages. When you activate the ability, he'll just pop it out above his head. With this, compared to the regular Parasol, he loses the ability to float, attack, and even fly. So, what are the benefits of this? Well, with its much bigger size, it can more easily hit an enemy above you. When you duck, you will be completely enveloped in a dome. This would be a good boss fight ability. With its size, it can easily tap any boss without too much issue. And take a mini boss like this Mega Saw Blade, for example. If you were to duck right here, you could just rack up easy damage on them. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is tossing this parasol. When you toss this parasol, unlike the original that just acts like an enemy, this parasol will only go for a select amount of distance, but will sustain in the air for a moment at the end, before disappearing. And it won't be destroyed, as in it won't disappear on collision with anything other than a roof. With that being said, as you know, this parasol disables flight, 
So, let's say you fall down a hole. To make it more fair, you can let go of this parasol mid-air, and it will slow your descent while doing so. That way, if you catch yourself on time, you'll be able to let go of it and fly back to safety. Alright, that's that. And I still have seven more abilities to tackle. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, cause we're about to get into the good stuff. So, the format I'm gonna do here might seem a little unfamiliar to some of you long-time viewers? Can I even call you that? Anyway, what I mean is, I'll usually break off sections into their own parts of the video. But this time, I'm doing bigger sections. In that case, all seven of these abilities are gonna be in the same segment. Also, you're gonna quickly notice a theme here. Four, technically five of these abilities are real-life objects. Just like, well, Parasol. I will be sorting these by my least favorite idea to my most favorite idea. Starting with Stone. This is honestly my only idea I could genuinely say I don't really like. But it's honestly all I can think of, so bear with me. Parasol Sculpture has Kirby spit out a stone parasol and lift it above him. He's unable to shuffle left and right, but he can tilt the parasol. At any time, you can hit B again to toss the top of the parasol off of the handle. Tilt direction playing a part in this, of course. If it was directly above you, though, it will come down and push you backwards, so be careful around cliffs. If he tilts too far, he will slam it down, and it will fly off on its own. This ability ain't nothing special, it's all I could think of. Again, if you have any better ideas, please let me know in the comments or in my Discord server. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Speaking of Discord, here's the ability I actually leaked to a couple people a bit while back. Parasol plus Bomb. Air Bomber involves Kirby turning to a bomb with a parasol strapped to the top. The connector being a fuse. You will drift down slowly, but you can move left and right. At any time, you can press B to cut it and fall, bombing anything below you. Making sure you're, well, not over a pit. With the explosion being about the size of a normal bomb. And when cut off, the parasol will float up and away, having the damaging properties of a normal thrown enemy. Snowball Pitch references an ability from Dreamland 3, being parasol and, well, pitch. In this case, Kirby will put a snowball on the ground, and then take the parasol out and use it like a golf club. The longer you hold down the button, the further you'll hit the snowball. Now, there is a good and a bad difference between this and the pitch variant. The bad being that, well, unlike pitch, the snowballs won't bounce, they'll just break. But the good change being that you can toss out multiple at a time, if you're quick enough, or at least prepare a second one as the first one's out. They'll freeze enemies as well, so there's also that. With those three being said and done, we have some truly real-life objects here. Starting with the saw blade. When activated, you will, well, pull out a saw blade, with the same hitbox properties as parasol. You will, though, have the same movement as if you're just casually holding an enemy, when tossed, you will just lob it. When it hits the ground, it will begin to move forward from where you were facing, going up any wall, traveling across any roof, all that. It will have a normal hitbox the whole time, but it will self-destruct after around 5 seconds after thrown. A second one can be tossed while the first one's mobile, by the way. A simple, but pretty neat ability. From one sharp ability to the next, we have Needle. Spinning top is a very unique one. Kirby will turn into a top, being the handle, and the longer you hold down B, the more he'll spin in place, with it capping out at around 2-3 to three seconds. Then you'll slightly fling into the air and be spinning. From there, you can move left and right as well as jump to damage enemies. Your traction will be lowered in this state, by the way. The longer you held B, the longer the spin will last, the shortest being around 2 seconds, with the longest being around 10. You'll turn back to normal after you stop spinning, and land on the ground if you are airborne. Personally, I feel like a lot of people would have fun with this. 
Now on to a really cool one. Actually, that made like the opposite of sense. Hot air balloon. It will start with Kirby getting slightly lifted into the air with him holding this, what will essentially be used as a hot air balloon. Then, while you're in the air, you can hold B to spit a small flame to lift it into the air. Just like Fire plus Choo Choo in Kirby's Dream Land 3, if you were wondering. Now, there is a hidden rule with Kirby 64 abilities, or anything having to do with the game in general. You cannot have infinite height. Therefore, the flame will faint out after a few seconds. Anytime you're not using the flame, you will fall slowly, as long as it's held out. And you can move left and right slowly, like a parachute. You can always hit down to make it disappear and fall normally. You can, at any time during that, re-equip the ability, keeping in mind that your flame will not reset until you've landed on the ground. Now on to our last element, Spark. My own element, in fact, so I thought it'd be fun to save it for last. Also, because honestly, it's my favorite idea and it's super cool. Kind of funny, considering that I unintentionally, by the way, ordered these in the classic Elm Warriors order. And by extension, Chompers, I guess. If we forget that needle ever existed. Speaking of which, what are you guys doing? Just floating about. My errors are keeping me up. Now I just gotta hope I'm not over a hole when I let go. I'm just playing some mini golf. Looks like you guys are having fun. Rada, what the hell? What? I'm just making a salad. <laughs> oh, got it, Chompers. Wait, Ranger, wasn't yours a lamp or something? Nah. Mine is, like I said, really cool. Which means it can't possibly be a lamp. Yeah, it's a lamp. Hey, I got multiple comments agreeing with me that the fridge was the best ability in the actual game, so just bear with me here. All inanimate objects count. <clears throat> anyway. As the lamp, you have three stages. Dim, medium, and bright. Let's focus on stage one, dim, for a second. Kirby will turn into a lamp, making Kirby this stand with feet. You'll have the same movement ability as Faceless Kirby, in this case, being able to walk and jump. Except this time, you'll have a hitbox above your head. Hitting the button a second time will make you glow brighter, into medium. Your movement horizontally will be a tad slower, but your hitbox will be bigger, making it easier to hit enemies around you, as your jump will still be normal. Lastly, Bright does the same thing as from dim to medium, just again making it the best for hitting, but the slowest of the three. Now, Dim is best for walking around with like a safety hitbox above you, while Bright is best for taking out multiple enemies in an area, as well as damaging bosses. Keep in mind, you are able to pretty quickly switch between these modes. With all this being said, Medium serves as kind of the middle ground to these two. When on the Bright state, the bulb will go out after another button press. A second after that, he'll revert back to normal. I thought the idea was creative and fun, so please let me know what you think, too. Anyway, so you may have thought that I would be done after the abilities. But oh, you silly viewer, subscriber, potential subscriber maybe, I ain't done. What about the enemies? The miracle matters? The photoshops? Well, my friend, viewer, pal, bud, um... What? I'll be answering these burning questions right now! On to probably the most important part of any ability. How you, well, get the ability. I think we should start with the most obvious thing, being Bumber. He's honestly the whole reason I had the idea to do this video. Now, as for adding new enemies, here's the thing. Kirby64 took, like, uh, a lot of enemies from Dreamline 3. So, that's what we're gonna do. Klinko and Sasuke. No, no, wrong Sasuke. This Sasuke. Sasuke does the exact same thing as Bumber, but faster. And instead of turning around automatically, they only turn around at a ledge or a wall. Klinko is a tad bit more hostile. He will do two short hops, followed by a big jump. He will then turn to face Kirby and repeat the process. 
Finally, I'm going to add Drifter from Dreamland 2, who will be way more aggressive. Now, some of you may be asking why I don't just add a Parasol Waddle Dee, Parasol Waddle Doo, or a Parasol Shootso. Well, I mean, I guess the Shootso actually isn't a bad idea if we're using Drifter as the Parasol. But as for these two, Waddle Dee is one of your allies in the game, and you already fight a Waddle Doo in the game, being that exact same Waddle Dee, so this just won't work. Now, as for holding up these enemies, Drifter and Sasuke will do the exact same thing as Bumber, and Klinka will just act like a normal enemy. Now without further ado, let's talk about my favorite boss in the game, Miracle Matter. Miracle Matter as a boss carries a form for each ability in the game, with the goal being you have to damage them with an ability, whether solo or mixed, matching their current form. Therefore, it would make sense to see what their Parasol form would look like. When they turn into Parasol, throughout the phase they'll be this Parasol top as if it were from a top-down view, and it will send out these pink and white striped semispheres that will float down. There would be two total that spawn on the middle, the left, and the right, and these six can spawn in any order. When the first one in the pair touches the ground, it will linger there. When the second one lands, they will both collide and disappear. Anyway, some of you may now be, or might have been wondering, what would these abilities actually look like in-game? Well, I've created some photoshopped images for you all to enjoy. Now keep in mind my photoshop skills might not be the best, given the fact that I'm not actually using photoshop, but I think it looks good enough, so enjoy. Wow, you're still here? Amazing how you're one of the lower percentage of people who make it here. Thank you. If you're new, you know what to do. Now, it wouldn't really be fun for me to just leave it off with Parasol, right? Well, let's see what abilities you guys think I should add to the game. We got plenty of options, so please let me know. And, well, I still got a box left, huh? Hmm. Well, I'll get to work on that soon enough. With all that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Okay, I swear it won't take nine months this time. <laughs>